rusty brake lines and all that. Uh, so to start off, we to take all the rear subframe parts out, we have to take the exhaust out. So we cut our original one out. And as you can see, that's over here. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and replace it with an exhaust we got at the junkyard. And I don't know if you guys have heard of them, but they're a pretty big shop in Rochester. They're named Rock Fab. And they made this exhaust. It's a TIG welded uh, stainless steel exhaust. And it's made for E90 uh, 3 Series cars. And it just so happens to fit ours. So we're gonna put it on there and see if it makes it a little bit more spicy. And yeah. So after countless times of trying to get that shred out of there like the conventional way, and it kept spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning, we decided just to cut the fucker out. Uh, it was being really annoying, and it just popped right out now. So now we're ready to pop her out. So after messing with this for what felt like four hours, just so we can pull the subframe out, we had to get to these e-brake cable releases right here. Absolutely impossible. But finally, got her unhooked so we can pull this old subframe out. Alright, so as you know, out with the old and in with the gently used. We got a subframe here we got from a junkyard, and really though, there's nothing wrong with it. It's pretty much brand new. So we're gonna put this in, and as you can see, like I was saying, the brake lines, they're also new. So yeah, pretty much polishing a turret this job. Untied my shoe. She's real rusty. She's real rusty. Now that I've got it down to two different sizes. So this is the one quarter of our subframe. And as you can see, it's pretty well shot. After fighting with North America for about, I don't know, the, probably the past three hours, not even lying, just trying to get these arms off of our subframe. We were successful enough to get them free, but we ruined one of the bushings. It was just seized completely. Literally impossible. No, no other option to just get the torch out. So now we're going to get our diff welded up and then try to get the subframe back in. And hopefully it will go a lot better than it did coming out. Yeah, it, it I, took, I don't have much left in me, honestly. Not much mental fortitude left at this point. No, I'm really about ready to leave. So we're going to get this diff drained and then slack that maybe up with some weld. Yeah. Forgot to mention that halfway through we like we cut the exhaust off. We wanted to hear what it sounded like with no exhaust. And then the fucking car decided to have an immobilizer issue where the key wouldn't fucking recognize. So typical BMW stuff, I guess. We got it to work after just basically doing nothing. 
So I don't, I don't know. I'm sure that's going to cause a problem down the road, which is why these stupid ass engines just don't even deserve to be in these cars. Like I don't even, I don't know how anyone can work on a BMW and, and have any kind of hair left on their head. Cause I have just about have none. You look like you're about to start losing yours. For four hours. Yeah. So we obviously like, we'll, we'll see what we can do with this engine, but anything BMW though, I'd, I'd like to just take it the hell out. Please. It's really not it, in my opinion. I'm not a fan of working on it. Well, that's always a great sign. Must be, hopefully it's just in there somewhere still. Hopefully she's collected. Oh, looks fairly clean. Hopefully they didn't change it for a reason. Oh. Help me out, you think? Or? Is your goal to put the most on the floor or what? You know it's not like anything special. What is it, just 80, 90? Or... That's what she's gonna get, maybe. She's gonna, she's gonna get what we have. I feel like disassemble these. We will not be doing that. We will just be welding it. Trying to get that baby bone dry. Dry to the bone. It does like lock up sometimes. Does it? When your hands are going around the corners, it locks up? How'd it go? Now, two pieces are now one. It is one piece now. Got two pieces of metal in there. And we met, we uh, welded her down as hot as the welder would go. And yeah, she's looking pretty good. pretty good when we moved it out of the shop it felt pretty good but we currently have no uh, top hats for our rear coilovers so in this video we're going to address that and kind of get some stability in our lights and in our car how do you do this one here oh. let's get them all cracked and we'll go on the electric rack This bushing is gone. Non-existent. Yeah. It wouldn't come off a collar. You had to heat it. And it obviously melts it. We could do something someday. Like a one. They're so expensive. <laughs> like an upgraded one. Yeah. I guess it's good enough. Should be the last thing. 
brakes look? Did you do brakes on this? No. <laughs> now we got it. probably good. I was gonna say, the brakes look pretty good. No, it's not. Someone took care of it at one point. I think this kind of, this is supposed to bowl out. This type of, the dent the inside. I guess. Oh yeah. It's on the Audi ones, you got lights over there. Holy oh, shit. It's like nothing. This was in there? No, it was like, we had to melt it off because there was nothing left of it. Ah, uh, so you just put that in there for now? Yeah, that's like a drive it. Auto shop. <laughs> I'm fine along. Um, Alright, we got a pry bar and this bad boy will pop right out. It's all loose. That's how you fix those centers. Yeah, perfect. It's a really nice subframe though. Should I go back away because it's like a... It's like a thing in there. That thing is shut. <laughs> Not really. Doing much to drive your car. Here, we'll, that's oh, home, the new yeah. one. Yeah, that's good. Shot there. <laughs> Please be the same one. Oh, yeah. Close enough, right? I think that one's just bigger because it's. For the first time there's Bill, we got the right part. Score. It's all right, man. That's gonna feel a wee lot. That's crazy. <laughs> I got my bolt, I got my bolt, this one's done back here. Well, no, I... How long? Oh, yeah, those bolts are pulling in there. Yeah, you're fucked, John. It ain't going in. It's not. Oh, yeah, we are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we need six longer bolts. Standard bolts in there. It's pretty long. Though. It works. It's it gonna it hold it on there. So it's gonna work. I can't like adjust the camera now with like that camera bolt. But neither, neither with this one either. But we don't really worry about it. Oh yeah. And when it comes, when we get like are at the skill set level where we need to worry about alignments, I feel like we'll like just change it. That's Mental. That almost really nice in my foot. Why is that not in there? I mean, well, this side isn't either. It's probably because it's. Well, these are supposed to stay in there, I think, or not? Oh. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure there's, they stayed screwed to the. This one's in there, though. It is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah some. Oh, well. Some. Oh, the struts aren't lowered all the way, or what? How does that work? How? Oh, the strut came out of. We don't have any mounts, so the top hat's gonna. Oh, that's what you're. That's what you had to make. It. Oh, so when you lower it down, you gotta make sure they go in the hole. Yeah, we didn't make them. We don't have any top hats. Fuck! Once it's on the ground, it's not going anywhere. Unless it comes off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the road, it might. What are you looking for, Trent? Longer bolts? A bigger bolt so I can pull it in there. So Get I can... it started. Yeah. I don't know. A lot of trouble with it. Strong. You just see a gap in between there? Yeah, absolutely. Why is the damn drive shaft not turn? Maybe put... The lift. <laughs> Touching the lift. Would it be easier if these bolts were back in? To have it have it in the right position. <laughs> if I just gotta push it down, it kinda like it's stuck in that collar, you know, for the rest of it. Yeah, they come apart right here. Here a little has a little gear thing. Can you push it up? The drive shaft? Yeah. Here we see. Still not gonna have enough of that. That's all, that's all it means, I just gotta hammer it a little bit. It's got that slip, slip joint right here. 
all that's happening is the, the drive shaft is touching our cats, so that's not bad. I gotta find the bolts that we left on the floor last week. It's probably gone. Yeah. So should we go now? What? Get a hammer. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe she blows. Okay. Cool. It's like moving when you go. I'll find some bolts to that. How come there's so many holes but only three bolts? Good question. <laughs> oh, now it's got to go back a little. Yeah. That's how it goes, Logan. You ever seen a 45 minute Cletus video? Yeah. Right there. Yeah, spin this bastard. No, it's a, it's pretty lined up. No, you gotta come back here and left. It's not. Uh, I see. Ah, oh, I know what you're saying. Ah, uh, just need the hammer now. Here, I'll, I'll hold it while I hammer it. You got the other ones in? Not yet, I'm just gonna... Yeah, hold up. Oh yeah, it's already lined up. Yeah, that's a... Is there a torque spec on them? Uh, Tight enough? How about it? <laughs> it's going on really tough, I'm just gonna take it off, make sure it's not... ...rounding around. I think there's not a ton of thread on them. There you go. This one only looks like it has three bolts. What the one you have to take off have three bolts. Did it? I had all these ones. Really? Put it in the back. You have to connect the wheel to the transmission. You guys. Can't just, can't just hold itself with magic. No, yeah. but where are, where are the other bolts going off? Just don't, don't do anything. There's no, you didn't take five bolts out here. There's only three holes. <laughs> what are all these then? What do you mean, what are all these? The, you were taking something else out. Are they to this? No, they're all to that. They're all in there. I mean, that's only. All are those the bolts you were looking for on the floor? No, these are all the ones that are in there. Three of them. The three holes that are remaining. I don't know why they'd be in there. Do they just have them in here? For fun of it. Why Maybe for like a balance? I don't even... Where's the, where's the other one? The old one? We just lost drivetrain weight. That's big in racing. I probably had all five in them. I did, they were on there too, but I thought it actually served a purpose. Me know. too. The other ones I thought connected it, they were like opposite. Could it be for balance? Maybe like balance or? I thought they were staggered. I, they were I think they are. I think he just put it. I think he just put it in wrong. Yeah, he definitely just put it in wrong. How do you put it in wrong? You're supposed to bolt this to the Weibo. And this bolt to the drive shaft. You feel me? 
It's not like a solid deal. No. Great. Would that matter, I wonder? Wait, what do you what do you mean? So this goes to this. That's still some cushion, you know? And then this goes to that, you know? Uh so there's like a difference between them. <coughs> there is more power, you'd think. <laughs> one to one. I mean there's no bolts on there, no no I feel like that's not good to have though. They are they're the same though. Yeah, you know what I mean? No, this bolt's just, you just bolt this to this, and this bolt's to that. It'd be just as strong. Now all these tiny little threads in these bolts. True. Yeah, you gotta do it better. So we messed up the format that the Guibo goes in. I kind of tried to override the whole purpose of it. Yeah, look at all look at all the threads now. <laughs> threads for days. This bolts in this roof section, but it's like the bolt is on. Is everything else good back there? Yeah. This is the top hat situation. We gotta take this thing out eventually, but look at them bolts. What it's just like a battery tray thing. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I have yeah. Yeah, there's. I know it. Oh, we have to make a diff thing. It's gonna be smashed. Like a cover. Yeah, cause it's so low. It's, or raise it on. So we just, I just probably just do a cover. <laughs> That's why I thought we'd get. Just steal like, a, steal like a road sign. I have a burger thing though. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying about. Uh, Eventually, when she breaks, we'll put one on it. There, you can't just replace these. It's all bent, like, but it don't even go on it. So oh, bad. yeah. I don't oh, know. I see that. It's fucked. <laughs> I wonder if we, like, I wonder if we can just do the axle without taking the arms off. Well, I think we probably can. It's like it just unbolts and mm. tracks up. The old nut swap. We didn't even breathe the, or bleed the brakes in the first time. How do, you, how do you breathe the brakes? <laughs> Very good. That's something we can't show on YouTube. <laughs> Break breeding. I don't know, that's going on weird. Okay. <laughs> Go, going goes on. off good though. That's weird. We're gonna see, we're gonna that's gonna pull up. Uh, Did you get the nuts mixed up or something? Or? I don't think so. Are they different or are they the same? Same bolt, same nut. Different application. Put your little cord turn. I think even on that. I know, we're not gonna ignore it and do the bones. Get back to it. Who knows? We're just gonna run them in. We don't care. Need some more horsepower. <laughs> Get the half inch impact. You gotta be able to take it off and let's You guys couldn't see, but I was currently at the drawing board. We're back. Look at that. Who would ever put the 17 back in the 18 slot? Who wouldn't check their socket? This is a heavy duty zip tie. <laughs> that's like actually, that's really thick. That's one you handcuff someone with. <laughs> it is. It looks like it. It's one of the ones I want you to keep someone in time. We're back. Actually. Trent's got some in his bedroom. <laughs> Take it off next.
time? We well, only have to take the drive shaft out, not the, not the rebar. Next time we do that, we're gonna go ahead and solid mount that dude. One to one. You really could if you wanted cool. to get home, couldn't you? You could just put them straight no, back here together. That's what we'll have to do someday, probably. Yeah. <laughs> we explode this one. Alright. We're gonna put those bolts in, don't we? The carrier. Who? Carrier? These. I got them, I just gotta tighten them. Oh. You got no torque with that fucking rod. I don't need no torque with my rod. Good deal. Those are caliper bolts through like that. Or something. Uh, no lost ceiling. Slow work. Beamer. <laughs> we do that coil thing, you know? Top hat, yeah, push it in. Yep. Coil, in. Oh, you wanna um, put the lift down? We have to push these in and like line them up. Yeah, them down. it locks out already. Yeah. Just let me know when. Go ahead. It's like um, when the walls close down. Right? I know. You know so how do you do it? Oh, stretch, stretch it out, you're ready. You gotta push this in and hold it there. Without smacking your arms. I'll, I'll slow it down. Slow it wow. down. Here. He's the one that's the pussy over there. We should have rotated our tires, but we're not. We're coming nowhere near down to this thing, probably. We need um oil change too. So. I'll have it on video at least if I get your arm. Smash. You good, Trent? Yep. Good question. <laughs> I don't. So there, there's. Hey. <laughs> Shut the hell up. There you go. What the fuck? What are you doing? All right, we're switching to a different website. <laughs> what do you think? Look, look at it. So they do come with big ass batteries, because I was wondering why my car had like, a, those batteries are huge, you know. They don't always work very good. <laughs> They're big for nothing. I didn't know if it was, the guy put it in or if it came like God. that. Good. Take a piece of steel and drill like a hole on it. Yeah. Watch out, kids. There you go. That was in the back of me. A what piece of hole? We have those GTI things still, remember? Yeah. Roll cage. I have this too. We need like a, some kind of These are your old now. pistons? Yeah. I got new Is this the, the car you're building the engine for? Yeah. These are the new pistons and shit. I gotta drop it off at the... Like, hot guys that have the hot tank right now. Yeah, Trent was telling me that the black was the there. Off. He wants to hold them exactly for the... Something like this would work good, you know? These would be bigger though. The whole... Stronger. That's strong. True. Still a holder. What, you just put it on there? Is there a place to put the bolt on bolt? Oh, yeah. yeah. What, it, these were the ones that, it didn't come with them? No. Nothing. So that's the only downside, I guess.
I, it fell off of something. Yeah, did it fall out of the car? <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Leave it touching the gas. Oh, it's not so good. They're both tired. Well, I say it's a success. It's got all we want. Take out the side of the building. <laughs> they go sideways, yeah? Yeah, but you can see, yeah. We're good. I didn't want to do it so bad, but I can't. So we're going down there. Brown. Yeah, let's hop in, though. Let's see how we can play. Oh, we're going to have a good one. Yeah, we're Driving straight for hours, I'm too high to hit her. She said that little shit gon' do the job. I'm trying to clock in.